We're about to be spending a lot of time on Zoom together. While Zoom is a pretty great video conferencing tool, it can easily get pretty cluttered. Here are some settings that I recommend which are well suited for the way I'll be teaching this course. Some of these settings only work with the latest version of Zoom, so please make sure you're up to date. First, please try to keep your video on if your circumstances allow it. And join audio from the same device that you're connecting from. This will help make sure that we can see each other and also prevent issues from arising when we use breakout. Each class revolves around a handout, which I'll be sharing and writing along with you during the session. That means that I'll be sharing my screen for a large portion of each class, which takes up almost all of your screen by default, which isn't great. Zoom usually defaults to going full screen when someone shares their screen. For reasons I'll explain in a second, I recommend exiting full screen and just making the window as large as possible. You can also make these changes permanently in settings. To make it so that you can still see the faces of your peers and me, I suggest switching to side-by-side -side mode and to use gallery view instead of speaker view, so that you can see several people instead of just one. If your version of Zoom is up to date, you can do both at once by clicking view and side-by-side -side gallery. Side-by-side -side mode is quite flexible, so you can move the divider around depending on whether you want to see more of the class or more of the handout for a particular portion of class. We'll be making extensive use of nonverbal reactions, which is in the participants tab, as well as the chat, which is in the chat tab. If these windows are floating around on your computer, you can dock them to the main Zoom window by clicking Merge to Meeting Window. Note that this feature of docking only works if you're not in full screen. On occasion, I'll be making use of a whiteboard. In this case, I will be turning off screen sharing and using a camera pointed at the whiteboard instead. In this scenario, you might want to switch to speaker view so that you can see the board more clearly. And that's it. Feel free to add comments to this video if you have other suggestions or thoughts, and I will see you in class.